Hey, what's up, Anfinex? Tech Fnatic 90 from AndroidRoots.com within the Nexus 4. Yes, very beautiful, elegant. And I'm telling you, showing you how to unroot it back to 100% pure stock, 4.2 jelly bean stock. So you have the ability to send it back to the manufacturer or to Google, LG or Google if you'd like. So what we're going to be doing is just basically unrooting it back to getting all the stock firmware, the stock recovery, everything. And after that, we're going to be locking the bootloader so they won't even know we ever rooted it or installed Clockmod Recovery on our device. So let's get this started. But, oh, actually, one thing before we do get started, this will do a fact reset on your phone. So make sure you do back up all your apps, contents, music, uh, pictures, movies. Just back up everything just to be safe. And um, so it, it, it should only delete all your apps, um, contacts, all that stuff. But make sure you do back up your pictures, music, all that, everything. Everything that you wouldn't you wouldn't want to uh, be deleted. So after you get everything backed up, we're gonna enter our phone into bootloader mode. So go ahead and power off your phone. And wait until the screen does turn off. Okay, once it's turned off, press the volume up volume down and power button all at the same time when your phone vibrates let go of the power but keep holding to the volume up and volume down so all three vibration let go of the power okay you'll be on this screen now we're going to plug in our phone via micro usb so just get your micro usb plug it in and plug the other side into the usb port of your uh windows computer all right so once you finished um plugging in your phone via micro usb and other side to the usb port of your computer uh, you're going to have to download these two files or two folders and files. Uh, as always, I have a link in the description below where you can download these. One of them it is called is uh, Samsung USB driver and the other one is called 4.2 Unroot Nexus 4. So make sure you download both of these and uh, make sure you do transfer the folder. Make sure you unzip the folder first and transfer the folder to your desktop. So you can see the Unroot uh, Nexus 4 folders on my desktop. So make sure it's on your desktop or you're going to run into problems. On the Samsung USB driver, it doesn't matter where it's downloaded or transferred. So make sure you unzip that folder and move it to your desktop. So the first thing we're doing is installing the correct drivers so you don't get stuck on waiting for device problem during command prompt. So we're going to open, just double click that and go through the whole installation process. So I was, um, I was just going to click and it will tell you that, you, most likely it will tell you that you have it installed. But ignore that and still run through it even though it tells you that you have it installed. Better be safe than sorry. Um, nothing bad will happen if you don't go through it, but you're going to run into problems later on in the end, which is going to waste more time. So make sure you do select yes and go through this whole installation uh, wizard process when it does pop up. Um, so we'll give, I'll, I'm going to install this and I'll be right back. Alright, so I finished uh, installing this, so this file is no need anymore, you can do anything you want with it. But since we got those drivers installed, we have to do one more thing before we actually do start the whole command prompt. So open up device manager, you can just search in the little start bar in, this, uh, in the little start menu. Uh, device manager and it will look like just like this let's start up oh and it'll look just like this and um let me zoom in so you can get a better look at that okay and down below you'll be able to see right there it says samsung android phone yours might say mobile device external device it may say that or it may say samsung android phone it might but just go ahead if it says something like that and click the little uh, triangle tab down bar and under that you should you should be able to see Samsung Android ADB interface and if you don't see that you're probably going to be seeing uh, Nexus 4 or Nexus 4.01 and with a little triangle next to it so if you do get that problem and if you, even if you do see this uh, this fine then uh, still do this process just to be safe so, so you don't run into problems later in the end so just double click on that and you'll be able to see this. Let me adjust that. And you'll be on this screen. Click on driver, update driver, browse my computer for driver software. And then let me pick from a list of device drivers. And then under here, once it does finish loading up, you'll have two options, Google. And the other one is called Samsung Electronics Co. Click on the Samsung one. And then you'll have like, you might have three or maybe even one option, two options for the ADB interface. You can just choose whichever one, it really doesn't matter. I'll just choose the top one, but you can choose the bottom, middle one, it doesn't matter. Just select it, select next, and yes to installing it. And this will install the correct drivers so you don't get stuck on waiting for device during command prompt. And close all this out now once you got it all done. 
And now once you got it done, like I told you earlier, make sure you have this folder on your desktop, the uh, for Unroot Nexus 4 4.2 folder on your desktop. Okay, so go ahead and open a command prompt now. You can just search in the start bar uh, down below as well. Just same, same way that you got device manager. And we're gonna be typing some commands. So first command is gonna be CD desktop. Enter. Then CD 4.2 unroot nexus for enter and then now we're going to be actually typing some com real commands uh, for your device so we're going to flash the stock recovery so fast boot space flash bootloader space boot and you can press tab and it'll automatically fill it in for you and make sure you do type in bootloader twice so it's flash bootloader bootloader again and then you can press tab automatically fills in the rest of the file and press enter Next, we're going to type in fastboot space reboot dash bootloader and that's going to reboot your bootloader on your phone. Enter and that will reboot your bootloader. So next up, we're going to be flashing the radio. So fastboot flash radio and make sure you type in radio again twice and press tab. So flash radio space radio tab and it'll automatically fill it in for you again. Press enter and it will uh, send the radio for you. Uh, give it a few seconds to finish up. And next we're going to type in reboot bootloader again. So fast boot space reboot dash bootloader. Enter. Let's try that one more time. Fast boot space reboot dash bootloader. Enter. And there you go. It's rebooting the bootloader now. Okay. Now we're going to do the big file. So it's going to be fast boot. Oh. Fast boot space dash w update image and you can press tab again and it'll make you fill in the file name for you just like that and just press enter and now it's me flashing the big file it'll take about five minutes to flash um, and once it does flash it will automatically reboot your phone so I'm gonna be back when it starts rebooting it and then we'll finish up this whole process with locking the bootloader and fixing some errors you might get during this whole process. So I'll wait till this finishes and I'll be right back. Okay, so my phone has been stuck on this X bootloader for about 10 minutes. So I know something's wrong with it. So what we're going to be doing is going into recovery mode, stock recovery mode. And we're going to be doing a fact reset. So let's go ahead and do that so we can uh, get rid of this X bootloader or boot animation. And go ahead and use our phone. And after that we'll lock our bootloader. So if some of you uh, get stuck on the boot loop like me I have. We're going to enter our phone back into recovery mode, stock recovery into a factory so like I mentioned earlier. So go ahead and just hold down all three power buttons at the same time and keep holding until it powers down. And once it does power down, we're going to hold all three again and when your phone vibrates, let go of the power. And it, if, okay, let go and then hold the power, all three again. So let go and then vibration, let go of the power. And you'll come on the screen just like you the first time you entered into bootloader mode uh, when you were uh, flashing the stock recoveries. So on the screen, press the volume up twice, you'll be in recovery mode, and just press the power button. So let it boot up into stock recovery, and you'll probably get a dead, a dead Android, that's usual. So since you, we get a dead Android, we're going to press the volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time. So just press all three at the same time, Pr keep pressing them until you get to this screen. So just keep pressing all three at the same time until you get to this screen. Now let me zoom in, it's pretty small text. So there we go. So all we're going to be doing is to go to wipe data slash fact reset, third one down, select it, and select yes. Oop. And use the power button and volume up and down to navigate. So now it's going to be doing a factory reset. Just like that. And give it a few seconds. Okay, so once that is done, let me zoom back a little bit more. We're going to just select the very first one, which is Reboot System Now. Just use the power button and select Reboot System Now. And this is going to reboot your phone normally, just like it would now. So you won't get the X bootloader for like 10 minutes now. It won't get stuck on there anymore. So I'm going to give this a few seconds until this boots up, and I'll be back. And then once it's done booting up, we'll go ahead and lock the bootloader. And there you go, it booted up in about two minutes, and now you're good to go. But if you're planning on sending it back to the manufacturer, Google or LG, just because you may have a problem with your phone, external or internal, and you want to lock the bootloader so they'll never find out, 
that you ever messed up with your phone, you're going to have to lock the bootloader. So go ahead and power off your phone. And we're going to enter into bootloader one more time. And then we are done. So give it a few seconds to turn off. Okay, so once it's turned off, once again, press the volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time. When your phone vibrates, let go of the power, but keep holding until the volume up and volume down. And let go of the power. And you'll be on the screen, so once again, plug in your phone via mic USB. And we're going to head down, head back to our computer and uh, lock the bootloader. And I just want to show you before we do that, um, it says right there, lock state unlocked. So we're going to make that locked. Okay, so back in command prompt, we're going to type in one more command, and then we are done. So we're going to type in fastboot, space, OEM lock. Enter, and now it says finished. And now when you look at your phone, let me zoom out so my camera can focus. When we zoom out, it will say lock state locked. So you can see right there in white at the very bottom, lock state is locked. So that means your uh, bootloader is locked, and now you're done. You can go ahead and uh, select the power button to reboot your phone normally. And your phone will boot up, you can set up your email, all that if you'd like, or you can send it back to the manufacturer without them ever knowing that you ever did anything to your phone. And that's about it guys, thanks for watching, don't forget that subscribe button right up there, as, as right there, and give me a big old thumbs up down below as well, as those two things really do help me out a lot, and there you go, it did boot up normally. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like button as well, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, Plus. all three ways are also excellent ways to get in contact with me for this video, or any other videos or guides I've ever made for you, so you can, if you need some help on that, you're getting some problems. Thanks for watching guys, I will see you next time, peace.